<laughs> this is a production studio. Hey guys, I'm TV's Steve Zaragoza. You might know me from such smash hits as The New Movie Thing Show and the channel, SourceFed Nerd on YouTube. Welcome back to We Did Our Job Theater. Now, some of you may know that last week we actually did our job and we shot a show uh, all about the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that came out. It was me and Will, we talked about it, all fun was had. But uh, we tried to upload it to YouTube and unfortunately we had a lot of problems and after 9,000 attempts to upload the video, it didn't really work out. So, for your viewing pleasure, here is the new movie thing show episode that was supposed to air Friday, but didn't because YouTube was being dumb dumb. Here it is. So guys, when are we putting that whale song up, huh? Noisiest fucking costume I've ever fucking worn. Hey guys, it's the new movie thing show. This is the show where we go to the theater and we watch brand new movie films. Uh, and today we saw... Teenage, Teenage Mutant, Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles movie. movie. Live, live action, action film, film produced, produced by Michael Bay. Bay. I'm gay. gay for you. You will. Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, where do we even begin with this Ooh. movie? So when we first heard Michael Bay was involved with Ooh, the Ninja Turtles movie. That was actually the first video I've ever seen of you in my whole life of you. You talking man. about this movie. I had no idea that, that was it. years I, in the future I would be seeing the movie with you. I know. How my weird is that? Friend. How weird that's is that so that something weird. like that would happen? I time. think it's weird too. I think that's destiny if that, it exists. I think that was like one of my first source fed videos. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> So, me and Joe did this video where we were like, no, Michael Bay, you can't ruin Ninja Turtles, you're gonna ruin it with explosions. And then we were like, oh no. And then Michael Bay said, I'm not directing it. And we were like, okay, maybe there's hope. And then they cast Megan Fox as April O'Neil, and we were like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And then they announced that the turtles were gonna be all CG. And we were like, uh oh. Uh -oh. But I will say, throughout the film, I only thought to myself, maybe once or twice, oh yeah, these turtles are CG, because it was pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was done right. pretty well. It was actually all right. Yeah. So, okay, quickie review. All right. My quickie review is is uh, Ninja Turtles was fun, mm. uh, but it's definitely a kid's movie. Definitely a kid's movie. But not in the sense that uh, how there are some kids' movies that are not just for kids. Yes. But like the like like an example I used earlier was the Lego movie is a movie for everyone. Everyone. Toy Story is a movie for everyone. Everybody. Wally is a movie for everyone. The Incredibles. The Incredibles. Everyone. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is for, for kids. kids. What's your quickie review? Hmm. What would I say? Like if you if someone was like, Hey, Will. What, what, like, should I see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I'd say it's a good, it's, I'd say I would watch this movie again because it was very fast paced and it did not feel like it was in there forever. But if you go into the movie thinking, I'm not here to see some award winning, uh, 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 time shattering, uh, uh, gonna make me feel movie, then you'll enjoy this movie. If you're there, like, I want to see some jokes. Not necessarily well written ones. I just want to see some jokes, and I want to see some some Will Arnett because you liked him in that one show he was in, and then that fourth season came. And you weren't super impressed with it, but you still liked the show. Then go see this. Movie. I liked it. It was still okay. But look, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, go in there, turn your brain off, sit and get ready for wacky, ridiculous. I mean, look, man, the movie's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Think about that title for a second. Look, as nerds, as as humans, as people who have lived through the age of the yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics and cartoons and all and what have you, hearing that title, it sounds like nothing to us. It's as normal yeah, as hearing normal. Superman mm -hmm. or hearing Batman. But if you really think about the title, Teenage mm. Mutant uh, Ninja uh, Turtles. It's fucking bonkers. What it's, is a it's, ninja? It's fucking ridiculous. What is a ninja? And I think the title alone sets up what this movie is going to be. It's and bonkers. It's ridiculous. It makes very little sense. What this movie is good at doing is pointing out the fact that everything about it is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. And it's not afraid. It's not ashamed. And it's not actually. It's very self-referential. It yeah. makes fun mm -hmm. of itself many times. Yeah. It points out the yeah. fact that we're ninjas. It's it's not something someone would ever say. No. A ninja would never just be like, I'm a ninja. 
Yes. It, it's just, and yeah, so that's why it's all awkward. Here's some observations we couldn't help but make, Will and I, and so we'll call this segment Will and Steve's Observations. I got some obs. So here's where, here were, He's got some vations. Here, here were some observations. First, it smell, it, like, let's think about the smell. Oh my goodness. Let's think about the smells Let's really say, let's, take, let's pretend this was a real thing. So there is a moment in the movie, this isn't a spoiler, where April is brought to the sewers and it, she comments about the smell. She, Wait, she did? Yes. What did she, she say? Remember she says like, oh, are we in the sewer? Oh yeah, she's like, are we in the sewer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the only thing that smells like the sewer is, is the, the sewer. sewer. So uh, let's talk about that for a second. This movie is attempting to ground itself in reality, in some sort of weird, like, wacky reality mm -hmm. where something from space can mutate things yeah. and things happen. So in that, you might think, oh, man, I would love to hug a Ninja Turtle. But when no, in fact, you no, you wouldn't, because they grew up in the sewers, and in the sewers, there's piss and shit, they've and been vomit, in, they, and, all, and everything. They've been in the sewers so long that even if they left the sewer, they wouldn't stop smelling like a sewer. That's become what they That's are. That's what they are. Their their biology. They sweat sewer. They sweat sewer. Their pores have actually adopted sewer smell through some type of pathogen. Yeah. So they. So and actually, we're observing their first time leaving the sewers in this movie. So they've been living in the sewers since they were kids. Since they were babies. And now they're teenagers. So now let's think about for a second what a rat smells like. A just rat. a normal rat. Think about if you took a rat by its tail and just went. Sniffed it. Just Probably like, doesn't smell so good. Probably not, not, not. Now imagine a human-sized version a of human that. A human-sized, because humans that, by themselves. That. Humans by themselves. We smell sweat. And yeah, we sweat, we smell. Now imagine a human-sized rat, what that smells like. Now imagine a human-sized rat that lived in the sewer for 40 plus years. Or however long. Rolling around in shit and piss and vomit and dead bodies and sewer crap. And syringes and New yeah. York It's one of those waste. things where like, look, these are some vigilantes that are here to help the city. We're gonna ignore that they smell really bad. Because they're, they're helping doing good us. work. And they're helping us. And plus, uh, oh, well, okay, yeah. What yeah. else we get? So how about this observation? What were we gonna say about their finances? Did you guys notice that the only way these Ninja Turtles could have all these pizzas and whatnot is if they're stealing them? They don't have jobs. They don't have They jobs. don't have sources of income. No. They're not getting money from the government. And look, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Everyone's so they're living in New York, right? Every once in a while someone's gonna drop a doubloon down the toilet. Yeah, just a single Every, doubloon. Yeah, maybe like someone drops a, a hay penny down the drain while they're walking down the street. Sure, maybe you after might be a while, able to get a pizza a month. Yeah, maybe one pizza a month. Mm -hmm. Donatello's got like Batman's mm -hmm. Bat Cave technology down yes, in the he sewer. Does. He's got several screens yeah, like he's watching the ton. whole city. And by the way, later on he uses this holographic technology on wait, his Wait, oh hand. wait, and, and his glasses. And his glasses thing. have he, this like face recognition technology and stuff. Like he stole seven iPhones and put them together. He definitely stole iPhones oh, yes, and yes, yes, Google yes. Glass. Yes. Plus, who taught this? Who taught them how to read? Well, that's 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 not important. Okay, that's the not important. The most important part is is we Will and I have discovered that they're definitely stealing. They're definitely to stealing. To get the things that they want down Like the we suit. love these Ninja Turtles, but I'm absolutely sure in order to get a pizza, like Splinter has to go above ground, take off his clothes and be like, "Ah, I'm a giant rat." And then it he scares someone into giving the them crap a pizza. out of some couple. And they drop their they pizza. They drop their pizza. And he's like a little bit got on the front on the ground that's gross. And he just scoops it up, takes that piece yeah. out, brings it down to the turtles and gives it to them. So those were some of our observations. There's many more, but we're, we don't have time for all of that. Oh, yes. So this movie is directed by someone named Jonathan Liebesman. Yes. Not Matt Lieberman. No, not rela so no relation. It's not directed by Michael Bay. It's just produced by Michael mm -hmm. Bay. This guy directed the movie. We got Megan Fox. We yes. got Will Arnett. Yes. We got Johnny Knoxville as yes. the voice of Leonardo. I didn't know that until minutes ago. I didn't know either until right after the movie. And then we got William Fickner in the not movie. Me. And a whole bunch of other people in it, too. So there was a bunch of actors in the movie. What would you think of the act? I, wait, I had an opinion on that. Oh wait, I like the acting. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be a mean guy. I like the acting of everybody but Megan Fox. Yeah. Everybody, because Megan Fox, what they, 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 they put her in that very stereotypical female role where her role is just to scream things and get attacked. Yeah. So everything she said is like, Donatello! And it just was so funny to me. 
Well, you're kind of like introduced to this kind of like heroic female character and you're like, man, this is a this is a character for the girls, the females in the audience to really root for and kind of look up to and be like, man, that's a good female role model. She's, Except. you know, she's not stopping and, and to, you know, she wants that story and she's putting herself in dangerous situations to get that story. She believes in it and she wants to be a real reporter and then that whole storyline just ends yes. as soon as the turtles come in. Yes. And, it, and her, I mean, and we never care about her career yes. at all after she that. She never really did anything else no. after that that was of no. any worth. She no. did not need to be in the rest of the movie. No. They're, they're like, oh, I remember the, the part where like, we need you to come do this. And I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Because all she's going to do is get shot at. Yeah, and she did. Yeah, and she did. She did get shot at mm -hmm. <laughs> a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So we got, let's, we, I don't want to talk too much about the Shredder, but when I, but I, I do want to say that the Shredder is very much like a Transformer. Yes. It was like watching a Transformer mm -hmm. fight the Ninja Turtles. And also, I don't think it's fair. His, like advantages over the turtles. I don't think he it was a fair advantage. If this guy's like a kung fu master or some like ancient, he he knows the ways of like, you know, the the, you know, he knows what, how to be the leaf. He knows that well, like what's this method? What's the stuff that Shredder learns? Ninjutsu? What is it? it yeah, they're all ninjas. Yeah. Anyway, if he knows the ways of the ninja and it's all about respect and like tradition, you know, he shouldn't be fighting with all this technology. Yeah. Yeah. They're like we mixed the ancient arts with modern with modern warfare. technology into your yeah into your suit. And he's he's like, not cool. fighting fair. He's like cool. Yeah. The turtles don't have really gadgets. Donatello's got some gadgets. He's not really using it against Shredder. They've got their like their weaponry, their traditional weaponry yes, they that do. they're using. They do. And Shredder, it's pretty much a big disadvantage. You know. I think Raphael needs to start carrying a gat at this point. Also, Raphael's a, a little too jacked. He's huge. Never he's mind what. Yeah, jacked. not Raphael because he's the biggest one. Uh, I think Michelangelo needs to start carrying a gat. Oh yeah, yeah. Because he's the comic relief, and pretty much he needs a gat. He can hide it in a shell. Probably. Yes, he can. So all right, let's. So <laughs> the effects were okay. There was one sequence in the movie, one action sequence that I thoroughly enjoyed. I thought it was really cool. It's yes. A, it happens in the snow. That yes. was really fun. Like I would watch that scene again. Yes. And by the way, we saw it in 3D, which was pretty yes. cool. Yes. Not um, a whole bunch of 3D. I was only scared maybe once. That's not the point of 3D. Oh. 3D's not meant to scare it's you. It's not supposed to just scare you. No, I see. See, that's a common misconception about. Uh theatrical cinema 3D. Ooh. I think people are, 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 and that's why I think that there's kind of like an issue with like why we even need 3D in the cinema. Because there's theme park 3D, which yes. is like the pop out at you, like make you scared type yes. stuff. And then there's feature film 3D, which is meant to simply be a window into the movie. Wow. It's, just, it's supposed to add depth. You're really educated on this, aren't you? Well, I like 3D movies, man. I think it's cool. I think we see in 3D. Why can't we watch movies we in 3D? We don't see in 3D. What the fuck? <laughs> all right, guys. Well, listen. I uh, so I think we've give, we've said all that we can about the movie, but we're not the only ones that have reviewed this film as well. Rotten Tomatoes reviewed the film, and this is the score that they gave it. Not surprised at all. That's the score they not gave it. Not surprised. That's what the, happens when things like that happens. Here's the score from IMDb, so regular folks can say things. This is very surprising. This is pretty surprising because I expected more. I mean, I mean, I expected a different thing. Me too. I'm too. I'm no, I don't know. <laughs> That's fine. Just leave it. <laughs> Let's leave it. It's funny. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching the new Movie Think Show. Uh, you guys, if you want to run out to the theater and see a movie this weekend, I'd say maybe see Turtles if you're curious. If you like the Turtles, it does the characters justice. It's a lot of fun for if you're a youthful and happy on the inside, unlike us. And uh, you'll probably enjoy it if you like to just kind of watch action and and, and fighting and, and you like to watch uh, goofy, cartoony characters crack wild. Splinter, Splinter isn't getting a social security check from the government. How is he getting these pizzas? I need to know. Yeah, what? where do they get anything? At the end of the movie, they've got a thing that like there's no way that they, they can have that they can thing. have that thing. It's they impossible. Stole it. They stole that thing. The they Ninja stole. Turtles are stealing. Go things. see the movie just to see the that thing that they stole. When you go see this movie, don't stop thinking about how everything they have they definitely, definitely stole. stole from regular people. Hey guys, why don't you subscribe to the channel and like the video because that'd be cool and click on the annotation. I want pizza now. I would like some pizza. Let's go get some pizza. Let's go get some pizza. And I want crush, orange crush. Would you like for it to be Pizza Hut? I would for some reason like it to be Pizza Hut. I don't know, Hut. it wouldn't be some type of product placement or anything. Of course not. Cowabunga.